Hey guys, I'm Ramy Innocencio with your Beijing Olympics recap. Today, Michael Phelps took his third gold while our men's gymnastics team scored a surprise third place, but China laid claim to the gold for that event. This is your Olympic Day 4 in pictures. First up, and for Michael Phelps, it's three golds and three world records. Latest, his 200-meter freestyle win in a record time of 1 minute 42.96 seconds. And got him his ninth career gold, tying Mark Spitz, Carl Lewis, and two other Olympians. One more and he beats them all. He's also trying to topple Spitz's record of seven golds in a single game. Now on day five, Phelps guns for two more in the 200-meter butterfly and the 800-meter freestyle relay. And the U.S. team brought home more medals. Natalie Coughlin became the first woman to successfully defend her title in the 100-meter backstroke. That's as Margaret Holzer brought in a bronze, while Aaron Pearsall won the men's version in world record time, and Matt Grievers took a silver. And just like that, the overall American medal count jumped from 12 to 19, but at the end of the day, the world knew that China was best in men's gymnastics. And it showed in the tears of joy from Chen Yibing. Once his feet hit the mat after his vault, a roar erupted, and the audience knew the gold was going to China after other dazzling displays of strength on the pommel horse and the rings. The Americans, meanwhile, surprised most critics, even here in the U.S. They beat the odds and brought in a bronze with the team stitched together at the last minute after both Han brothers withdrew because of injuries. 22-year-old Jonathan Horton led the team and pulled out the stops on his floor routine as Raj Babzar showed poised strength on the rings and Alexander Artemov stirred up the crowd with a stunning performance on the pommel horse. And in the total medal tally for day five, the U.S. leads with 21 medals overall, but the Chinese are close behind with 18. For more, head to cbsnews.com on your phone right now. I'm Raymond Asensio. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.